Today I'm going to make an extension that will go here out of carbon fiber and fiberglass. It will be a bit of a thicker piece so it's uh, not flexible and um, it's basically going to house a saw, possibly um, a couple of other things but definitely a saw and it needs to be 90 centimeters wide which is perfect for this mold. 90 is about as big as I can make it. That's uh, 200 grams per square meter carbon fiber. This is 1300, so 1350 grams per square meter here. I'm going to cut them both um, 90 centimeters long and about 45 centimeters wide. And uh, then we're going to infuse that in the mold over there. Now, I want you to put your drink down because you may uh, spit it out, okay? This is all over your uh, computer. This is 200 grams per square meter. So you put the drink away. This is 1350 grams per square meter. Tool pattern, just the same. But I mean, this stuff is thick, you know, compared to that. So I'll have a sheet of this thick stuff on both the top and the bottom. In the middle there'll be a number of fiberglass sheets, so I'll uh, measure that out later. And then the surface that's going to be sitting on top, that will be visible, I'll have a thin sheet of carbon. Mainly because of issues that you might get little pinholes in areas where the, the threads cross over because um, the resin might not fill those gaps properly. So. I'll do it this way for now, and then later on I'll see. I might make a piece that's just this to experiment again with a smaller piece. I've just cut from that roll five sheets of fiberglass, each which is 450 grams per square meter. I'll put the glass in between these two now. In the background, you can just hear the pump warming up. It needs to run for a little while uh, before you use it to infuse anything. So I apologize about the noise, but it is absolutely necessary. So now, as I've explained in the sandwich videos before, the carbon on top and the bottom has very high tensile strength. And when something bends, it's the top and the bottom surfaces that do most of the stretching and compressing. So this will be, basically it should be unbendable. First I'm going to lay down the 200 grams per square meter sheet of carbon onto the mold just by itself so I can do it really nicely and carefully. And then I'm going to place this, again carefully, over the top. Okay, I have here a variety of things on top of the mold which will help the part release from the mold and the bag and all that sort of stuff and flow the resin and whatever. So that's all set up. I'm going to put the bag on now and then start the infusion. Now, the bag is on. Next I have to connect up the hoses and then check the vacuum seal, how good the vacuum is. 1011 meter bar. I'll wait until it gets to about 10 and then I will cut off the pump again to see how well it retains the pressure. It's a very important to tell you don't really want a big leak anyway. Okay, it's on 11. Now I'll have 
have to mix up some of this. Now I'm going to confuse it. So if I have to, if that's not enough resin, which I suspect it won't be, I'm just going to clamp it off again, mix up more, and add it to that cup.